Do you feel overwhelmed by daily stress? Well, then this video is for you. Keep watching as we learn how to protect our peace. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina and today I want to talk about protecting your peace. Let's get into it. Protecting your peace is really important because it allows you to maintain energy for the things that are important to you, the relationships that are important to you, and the people and projects that are important to you. It allows you to put more energy into your own goals and achievements while still being there for others and the people that should be in your life. Protecting your peace can lead to improved mental health because you have more calmness and clarity and it can also lead to improved physical health because you have more time and energy to focus on things like healthy eating and going to the gym and having an exercise routine. You might have improved focus, stronger relationships, enhanced self-awareness, and personal growth all by protecting your peace. So how do we protect our peace? Protecting your peace means maintaining a state of mental and emotional well-being despite external stressors. So first of all, you have to identify common stressors in your life. It could be your job, um, say you have a nine to five and you need to be in the office every day. There may not be ways that you can avoid doing this completely, but there may be ways that you can ease it and also set boundaries with your superiors and your boss and make expectations very clear. Stressors could also be certain relationships, whether that is rom romantic, familial, or friendships, and feeling that you are obligated to attend certain events or be there for someone in spite of what you really need yourself. Some people even feel the pressures of social media to be too much and need to pull back to protect their own peace. Take a moment and think about what external stressors are affecting you and maybe even write them down in a list. I'll give you a minute. A big part of protecting your peace is setting boundaries. And I know this used to be really tough for me. I felt like whenever I was invited to something, I needed to say yes and I needed to attend. Um, and so it was really a relearning for me that I was able to say no and I was not obligated to attend every event or birthday or party or wedding that I was invited to. And it became me saying no to things that I didn't feel were going to add to my life in a certain way. I was just speaking to a friend about her being invited to an acquaintance's wedding. It would require travel. She had already planned um, a huge trip beforehand going out of the country. And at first this person did not give her a plus one, although everyone else she knew had a plus one and she has a partner that she has been with for two years. And we were talking about the event for a while and she felt like, to me, it sounded like she felt obligated to attend even though she really didn't want to. So sometimes protecting your peace is just saying no and declining an invitation. You don't have to go to every event, birthday, party, um, wedding, anniversary, etc., etc., that you are invited to. And then you are more able to reserve that energy for the things that really are important to you and the people that really matter to you in your life. So that is a way in which you set a boundary. Um, and also setting, setting boundaries in relationships, whether it's familial, friendship, or romantic, is very important to protecting your peace. Mindfulness and meditation can reduce stress. And I find that when I meditate, I will think of things that are either really bothering me or the things that are most important to me. And in that way, Although this isn't the goal of meditation, but it happens to me quite a bit when I am meditating, I'm able to prioritize my life better. Um, you are allowing yourself to kind of decompress and have that space, peace of mind, um, to just do nothing. Because we are always running around all day. We have work, we have family, we have friends, we have events, we have, you know, bills, we have 
some of us have children and we need to organize their whole schedule, grocery shop, laundry, like the to-do list is endless. So if you are able to include 10 to 20 minutes a day where you are just being mindful, you sit down and you do a meditation, you are ultimately protecting your peace by including this practice for yourself in your daily routine by prioritizing your mental health and your mental well-being. Digital detox. This is a really big one that I think is important, especially for people that work on the computers all the time, on their computers or their phone all the time, um, or have to do jobs in social media, um, PR, things like that. Having a digital detox at least once a year where you can just take a few days off from your phone and your computer and just let your mind rest is so so important and i used to do this by going to burning man and there was no cell phone no cell phone service at burning man i would just put my phone in airplane mode so no texts would come through even if i had a spot of cell service and i would just use my phone to take pictures and also bring my camera around and burning man has a whole bunch of other shit going on too there's events and parties and art and workshops. Um, so of course I wasn't, I didn't have a shortage of things to do or entertainment and I never got bored, but it was a really nice way to just decompress from social media and have a digital detox. And I'm not saying you need to go to Burning Man or anything like that, but you can just take a few days off. You can go to the beach, you can go book a cabin in the woods. Um, you know, of course, you need to prioritize prioritize your safety. Um, I would say maybe still bring your phone if you're doing something like that, but um, just find a way that at least once a year that you can have a digital detox and you can turn off your phone and your computer and just check out from work. That is a really good way to protect your peace. Self-care practices are also a great way to protect your peace. And there are so many things that you can do for a self-care practice. Um, meditation, like I said before, is one of the things, but that is more related to, to mental health. Um, I think that, you know, anything that really makes you feel good, and it's so personal to each individual, but anything that makes you feel good, that makes you feel at ease, whether that's art, bubble bath, taking a walk, just having that self-care practice that you do like either daily or weekly is really a good way to continue to protect your peace. When it comes to relationships, it's so important to protect your peace, not just by setting boundaries, but also being mindful of who you allow into your life, right? Not everybody should have a place in your life. Some people have ulterior motives or ill intentions for you. And unfortunately, that's just the way it is in the world that we live in. Not everyone has your best interest in mind. So you need to be mindful of who you allow into your life. And if someone is mistreating you, how you can safely remove them from your life, or I would say de-elevate the relationship. So that it's not, it's not someone that you are spending a lot of time and energy with. Sometimes rather than cutting someone off completely, it is easier to just de-elevate the relationship and slowly pull back. Um, but it's just really important to protect your peace in that way and be mindful of who you are spending time with, who you are supporting and vice versa. I used to really struggle with protecting my peace. I think that I was a workaholic for one and I would always want to be working like 12 hour days and I just thought that was the way that I was gonna get ahead in life and it led to a lot of burnout. Um, so I have found that not only is it important to say no to things like I said before just so I can be a little more at ease and prioritize the things that are important to me, the events and people that matter to me but also to protect my peace by not overworking um, and to take breaks. <laughs> so in conclusion, to protect your peace, remember to set boundaries, 
practice mindfulness, take digital detoxes, engage in self-care, and nurture positive relationships in your life. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.